to you and say I'll do it or I don't like. Did you know you had a gun today? I did. Didn't know. I didn't even know about the marijuana in the car and when I found out about it, I'm not no snitch or nothing, so I'm just looking at him to see like okay, are you gonna you gonna man up? Like this yours. Did he? No, he I, I don't know anything about that part no, of it. He did. No. Okay. That's why I was trying to talk. So I was trying to tell the cop the same exact thing. Like, and he was like, "Well, if he ain't gonna man up to it, you ain't gonna man up to it. I'm gonna charge you both with it." And I, I'm like, how you gonna charge me with? It? I'm telling you, it's not mine. Okay. So you didn't know yet? Did he talk about doing something like this today? At all? I mean, like no. before you guys That's went to jail or anything? It went over my head, like. He never mentioned having a gun on him or anything? No. I, I swear on everything I love, nothing. He didn't say he had a gun on him. Because when we got pulled over, he asked me if I had my license. I told him no. That's it. Okay. Okay. Did you guys ride into the jail together or did you guys transport it separately? No, they put us in the same car. In the same car? Yeah. Okay. But it's so crazy because he was moving in the back. And the cop got him out the car, researched him, and put him back in the car. Is that at the scene? Wherever you guys were when yeah. they picked you up? Yeah. Because he seen him moving or whatever. So he searched yeah. him again? Yeah, he searched him again. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, basically, so just tell me what happened when you got to the jail. With the booking area, he drove inside. Uh, he, I went in first. I got one searched, and um, he told me to sit down. I to sit down and have my head down. Then he went to call him. Then all of a sudden, he just pulled out and said, "Get down on the ground." Okay. He said, "You mean Eric?" I, did, I knew him by Art Bar. I didn't know his name was Eric. What do you know him by? Art Bar. Art Bar? Yeah. Big guy, though, right? Yeah. Make sure we're talking about the same person? Okay. Just want to make sure. So, 
Did you see him get out of the cuffs or anything? That's the thing. He didn't have on cuffs. Well, the, the, the flex. Yeah. I, I didn't know. I don't know when he got out on. Well, because I'm really mad, like, that he won't man up to his what's name. So I ain't really even talking to him. I'm not really saying nothing to him. I'm asking the cop, like, what I'm being charged with. And he's telling me what he got to understand, how much marijuana it was, or I have to wait until I get down here to know exactly what my charges was. That's the one I was talking to the cop. I was like, so when that happened, he shot me. I don't know why he shot me. That's right then. When the shooting started, I just didn't want to get shot. I laid up on the table. Well, tell us about the shooting. I mean, when did that happen? I don't know who shot first, he did, or the police, or whoever. All I know is it started shooting, and I laid down on the ground. Okay. At what point did you get out? Well, he was saying that I guess the cops was like, let let the hostages go or whatever. And he was like, well, I let, I let me go. And he was like, no, let the uh, uh, deputies go and all that. But he wouldn't. So I got up and I started walking towards the door. And it was a guy like laying in front. And I asked, like, I take him with me. And he was like, no, 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 don't take nobody. Just go, just go. And I was like, man, just let me, just let the people go, man. Just let the people go. I was saying that to him, like, just let the people go, man. They ain't got nothing to do with it. Just let the people go. He was like, no, no, no. So I I left out the door. To where all the police cars are parked? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, all right, so... You don't know how many times he shot you. You just, you just heard shooting. I just heard shooting. I don't know who shot who. who. All I know, I looked up. It was blood everywhere. And I was asking him why he was doing this, and he was like, "He ain't going back to jail." And but you saw him holding a gun. Uh, Akbar or uh, Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Pointing at everybody. All right. You just see him discharge it at all? No, I didn't. Really? He that pointed it at me. It was like, I told you to, to, to take the charge for me. Is that what he said? Take the charge for me, yeah. He was like, talking about the weed. I guess he felt like if I would have took the charge of the weed, he wouldn't have got searched or the car would have got searched and he would have got let go. Okay. Do you ever verbally threaten anybody telling me he was going to kill him? I don't know. Okay. Uh, probably, probably, it was just so much going on. Did you ever feel I like you were in danger? Saying, saying, like, I felt like I was in danger the whole time. Do you think he was going to kill you? Not just him, just like from everybody shooting, or because like I was like in the line of sight of everything, so I was just trying not. Well, you said shot. he pointed the gun at you. Yeah, he was. And like, then he started telling you that uh, you should have taken the charge. Yeah, I should have taken charge for him. Whatever, whatever. What was going through your mind at that point? I just stopped talking. I just stopped talking because I didn't know what was really going to happen. So, do you think he was going to shoot you? Like how it was going, I, anything was possible. To be okay. honest, I'm just trying to get in your mindset with him. Yeah. Had he ever talked to you before about being in prison? No. I know you've only known him five or six months, but he never made a comment about I'm not. I'm not going back. Uh, that yeah, conversation never came up? Yeah, he just was like, he was... I'm not talking tonight, I'm just talking about it in the past when you guys were just oh, no, chilling. No, this came out of nowhere. Like, okay. it's, I wouldn't even, for me knowing him the little bit of time, wouldn't even think he'd even do something like this. That's what I'm saying, that it yeah. came out of nowhere. Like, I didn't think he was going to do nothing like this, or he didn't even say, oh, I fit to do this, or... It was no hint, no, it just... Did you see where he pulled the gun from? Uh, in his pants, like he just, he had had a He was sitting there with his hands behind his back. And when then he, all of a sudden his hands came out and he had a gun out. When he got up, he was sitting there with his hands behind his back. When he got up, when he was getting ready to get searched, when he yeah. got up, he did like that. That's so he pulled it from his 
Well, from, from, yeah, from the front or from the back? It'd be like from somewhere like right in the front area. Yeah. Okay. He just kind of did it one movement, just stood up, went. Sh yeah. What did he say when he pointed the, when he started pointing the gun? It's like, the, don't move, like, lay down. He didn't say anything else. I'm pretty sure you guys got cameras right there where it was at, like, cause yeah, but cameras don't tell the whole story. Right, right. You know what I mean? You you can look at the camera all day long, and it doesn't tell you everything that you need to know. You need to know from the perspective of people that was living it. You lived that. Yeah. That's why we're in here now. What time did you meet up with him today? Um, we was at the we was all at the party. Where was the party? I'm not sure because I ain't from my guy across from it. Was it a hotel in the area? No, it was it was at a house. It was in a gated community. All I know is yeah, it was at a house. Down and, by SeaWorld, um, Disney. I'm trying to think. Okay. What time was it that you guys met up? Um One in the afternoon. Did he pick you up from the Airbnb? No, he picked me up from the party. Like I was saying, I was at the party. Okay. No, I was just and trying to figure out how you got to the party. I was I, getting ready to leave. How'd you get to the party? I, I lived to the party. You did a lift? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I was going back, and he was like, well, I'm leaving if you want to ride. Yeah. I'm like, okay. So, you guys were hanging out at the party, but were, I mean, were you there together? No. I was there with a lot of other people. It was, it was a party, so a lot yeah. of people were there. Yeah. Who was putting the party on? Um, this guy named Ty Epps. Ty, Ty, Ty Epps, like that. Did he seem like he knew a lot of people at that party? Yeah. Did you know a lot of people at the party? Uh, most people. Okay. Was he there supplying stuff, uh, party favors? Uh, I can't say I saw nothing like that. Okay. I can't say I. Well, I don't know. You know, some people walk into the party and they want to be the man. Yeah. I and can. they bring in, they just start throwing stuff down. They didn't know if he did that. Yeah, but I just I can't say I saw him passing out stuff like yeah. that or doing stuff. Look, like we could give a crap less about. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know. I know because what's been going on. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm just, just trying to get a feel for, for yeah, what it was. And you know his persona. He That's came in, was just kind of chill. You guys were just hanging out. Yeah, everybody was just chilling. Everybody was just chilling. It was early in the day. It was like a little day party, so people were drinking, but not that much because it was hot. It was heat. So, what what time was it that you guys got stopped? I honestly don't even know. Um, was it daylight out still? Yeah, it was daylight out. It was close to around like. Three something maybe. Oh. Yeah. So you were only at the party for a couple hours. Yeah, that's it. A couple hours. Okay. I was at the party for a couple hours. So you guys got stopped about three something. Do you know the general area you were in when you got stopped? Okay. Okay. I I mean literally we don't really have a clue about that that aspect of it, so I'm just trying to get a feel for the for where you were. When when you when the lights hit you and you were pulling over, did he say anything at that point? He just asked me if I had a license. Okay. And I was like, nah. I was telling him nah. And he'd be like, why the hell you didn't tell me you didn't have a license? I would have just drove if you didn't have a license. That's what he said. Okay. And I'm trying to pull over. Cause it, um, it, took, you to it took me a little minute. No, he didn't tell me to go. He, he told me to pull over. Okay. It took me a little minute to pull over because where I was at, it was like no, no side shoulder. Yeah. And then it was cars, so I turned, and then I turned into some apartments. That's where we got pulled over. At. Okay, but at no point he was like, just go or anything like that. No, he actually told me to put a call. Okay. He didn't... Uh, That's why I felt like wasn't nothing in the car. Wasn't, wasn't a big deal. Wasn't a big deal because yeah. he told me to pull the call. Okay. So I pulled over. 
And you said, though, that he made a comment when he pointed the gun at you, you should have just taken the charge. He at no point was telling you you need to, I got this, you need to take the charge when, or anything? When the dude, when he found the weed, yeah, that's when he was telling me. Like, okay. He was telling you to take the charge? Yeah, take the charge, I'll bond you out. Just take the charge, bond you out today. You'll get out today. Okay. I'm telling him, no, it's crazy, no, like, no. Can't take the charge, no. He didn't say anything about the gun at that point? No. I, mean, I got a gun on me, I can't didn't. go? He didn't say anything about the gun. Because when he was when he was trying to tell me, the other cop, he was watching us. Like, yeah. He was trying to keep an eye on us, but he was really looking around the car. Yeah. So, but he, he was like, when, when he put me in cuffs and I sat down, then he looking at me saying, just take charge, take charge, I got you, I got you. I'm gonna bond you out. When he was in the car and he started moving around, you said the deputy pulled him back out and searched him again. Could you see what he was doing when he was moving around? I'm not sure, because like I said, I was trying to talk to the, the guy yeah. and I got trying to see what was going on with me, but he was moving around or whatever. And at that time, he could have popped him or was trying to move the gun around, I'm not sure. But it could have popped him because you said the deputy pulled him out and searched him again. Yeah, you're right. You're right about that. So, but did it look to you like he was trying to hide something or get something pulled out or move it? I mean, you got to understand, we I find stuff in the back of our cars all I the time. I just thought he was just trying to move around because we both in the back seat and I'm, I, and I'm having a hard time in the back car. Okay. And he's, he's a big man, so I, got you. I just thought he was just trying to reposition himself. When the deputy pulled him out and put him back in, I mean, how long were you guys sitting there before you guys actually started towards the jail? Not even that long. No conversation going on? Then he was saying, take the charge. Well, he still take tells the charge. Yeah, he was trying to get me to take the charge. And then he was asking the uh, cop that um, if one of us said it's ours now, well, we both be going to jail. And the cop was like, yeah, you will both be going to jail because y'all both in the back of the car okay. right now going to the jail. So it's too late now. Yeah. So, but then he didn't say nothing else after that. When he told me it was too, too late now or whatever, he didn't say anything else after that. Um, I, I got a, a couple questions. Uh, first of all, um, uh, what's your what's your first name? Is it Charles or Charl Charlie? Charlie. Charlie. Yes, sir. So that's what it appears on your ID, Charles. Yes, sir. Well, what's your last name? English. English. Okay. And because I don't have, what's your birthday, Mr. English? Seventeen eighty-five. All right. My questions are on the surrounding inside. Once you got inside, so ask me questions about your travels. You, you came in first, you said earlier, right? Yeah. They had you come in first? Yeah, so. And uh, you were cuffed behind your back, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, the deputy brought in um, the other guy that you, that you were with. Um, and uh, was he handcuffed with uh, handcuffs like you, iron, no. metal? No. Or was he flex cuffed? Flex cuffed. Okay. Was he uh, uh, cuffed in front or his hands were in back? It was in the back. In the back. And so when you were brought in, you were sat down on the bench, correct? You said. And um, when uh, he came in, the deputy came in with uh, the other guy, what did he do with him? What did he direct him? Okay, he like directed him on the side. <clears throat> and when, it, when I got up, he warned me. Or that was like mm -hmm. he wanted me, but the time that he was wanting me, he made him like move to the, to the other side and go sit on the bench where I was at. Oh, okay. So after it was okay, after I got done. He called him over and I walked towards that way. Okay, is that whenever he pulled the gun? That's when he was calling him over to want him. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I understand much better. Appreciate it. So when he did pull that <coughs> gun out, and you said earlier you're just not really sure where it came from. Uh, so, 
I, I'm taken from what you mentioned earlier. His hands were still uh, the guy you were with, um, Eric or whatever. His hands were still behind his back, mm -hmm. and he pulled a gun out. And as you kind of tried to demonstrate yourself, kind of had it to the side, and he was pointing it at the deputy. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. And um, so at uh, at that point. Um, at what, or I should say this, at what point did you realize um, did he had a gun? Only once he showed it to the deputy or yeah, as he was getting up? It, it, it dawned on me like, okay, this, this is real. Like, but when he put him on the ground, gotcha. I was like, okay. But I just kind of just stood there. Like, I sat there for a minute. But then I was, what I said to him. That, that he don't need to do this, something, something like that. I said because it was a nurse as well too. Yeah, the nurse was there. Yeah, and we were trying to talk to him. He right. Was, he was like, nah, he, he made it worse or something. Like he going to jail for the rest of his life now. And I'm just saying, man, look, listen, I don't have nothing to do with this. That's what I kept saying. Like, listen, I don't have nothing to do with this. So, so I've talked to lots of people involved in this, and I'm trying to put the pieces together so I can get a clear picture, because I haven't watched the video. So it'll probably be clear when I watch the video, but like he said, it's different when you talk to people who have been involved. So you're, you're sitting on the bench when the first shots are fired, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you look to your left and look inside that other room and see uh, another police officer? Yes, sir. And what did you do then? Did you make eye contact or make any gestures towards him? I got him, like, I did, like, it's him, like, okay. and he was just like, get on the ground, get on the ground. He was trying to tell you to get down? Yeah. So is that why, is that why you got down on the ground? Okay. Well, no, when the shots, well, no, like, I got down. Okay. But then I, I'm looking at him. Oh. And you got down on the ground, and then you looked at the officer that's inside the other room, yeah, and you're I letting can, him know. I could see him, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, okay. And he was like, just get down, just get down. Okay. Just stay down, stay down. Okay. And uh, um, that door to the other room, that door was closed or open? It was closed at first. Okay. And then it, it went to open. That's when he went to shoot the wall. Get back. Get back. Get back. Oh, okay, hold on. The door I'm talking about is where that other police officer was. Was that door right there where next to that bench, that was closed at first? Uh, that stayed closed. Hold that on. stayed closed. You're talking about the other door. Mm -hmm. that, is that the door you came in? Yeah. Okay. So uh, don't jump ahead too quick because I want to back up a little bit if you don't mind. So when, I'm just going to call him Eric. Eric fired the uh, first set of shots. Do you know how many he fired? No. Okay. Where, where was he pointing the gun when he fired those shots? Do you know? I mean, if I saw somebody with a gun, I, I, I would be glued on them to try to figure out what the hell they're going to do with that gun. Did you have? Did you happen to see where he was pointing that gun? Or well, he was pointing it in the air. Like, okay. And is that when he fired? That's what I'm saying. Like he was pointing that air, then he pointed it at his head, saying he'd kill himself. Then he was pointing it around, like that's what I'm saying. I'm not actually sure when the first shot shot because okay. I don't know if it came through the window and then he shot okay or he shot and then one came through the window because I've seen something come through the window oh okay and that's when I guess he went down okay like he got shot or something or he got hit okay so when when did Eric's hands ever come around did he did he get outside of those flex cuffs did he break those that flex cuffs that's what I'm saying. No, his hands was in the back. Then you never saw his hands. One hand was out. You ever saw his hands loose up up like this, or or was he always cuffed when you saw him? And when I saw him, he was always cuffed. But when he pulled the gun out, he was still. He was just to the side like this. No, when he pulled the gun out, one was out. Like one arm was free. Okay. So he only had like one hand, and it wasn't. And then this arm was free. So he pulled this, this hand, hand. Was it wasn't restrained. 
Okay, so he finally, so he must have got one hand out of the cuff then, by what you're telling me. Yeah. Okay, all right, now I understand a little bit better. So he, okay, and so when the, when he pulled the first rounds off, you don't know how many he fired, but you said, did you see him shoot into the ceiling? Or you just believe he shot in the ceiling, do you know? I probably just believe he shot in the ceiling. Okay. Like, I wasn't really paying attention that much when the gun went off, when the rounds kept going off. Okay. But, and you said that some were shooting in, there was bullets coming in at you? Someone shooting in towards you? Yeah. That's were they, what it seemed like, yeah. Okay, do you know where those shots were coming from? Were they coming out where yeah, the cars were parked? From outside, yeah. We, is it from where the cars are parked or in the other room where the correctional officers were? Where the cars are parked. Where the cars are parked? Yes, sir. Uh, about how many shots do you know or do you believe? If you don't know, it's cool. I, I, just, I, don't, I just, I don't. Okay, you don't have to be pinned down on it. I just didn't know if you knew. I knew there was a lot going on. I just, you know, okay. Um, and you didn't see who was m making those shots, right? Okay. All I seen was guys with guns pointing and everybody yelling. Okay, and um, other than that, those gunshots, was there any other gunshots during your time there before you left and was released out that door? Was there any more gunshots going on? Um, it was a cop, I think, across. So I was underneath the bench on this side and mm -hmm. he was behind the desk and it was a shot I, but I'm not I'm, again I'm not sure where it came from his gun or from my side but it, it, it went and hit the window and left a big hole like right there that's the last place I remember so what you're saying is if you're sitting there on the bench was it over here mm -hmm. that this window over here yes sir okay and 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 that's the that's the that's the gunshots when Eric fired. That's where then these gunshots occurred. That's probably where. Yeah. You th you believe it to yeah. me? Okay, I understand. And then after a while, he he uh, the door opened and he he wanted you to go. That's yeah. when you were saying you're trying to get somebody else to be able to go with you, but he wouldn't let you. Yeah. But that was he was you're being let out into the area where the cars were parked, mm -hmm. the police cars. Okay. Okay, and then where did you go after that? I mean, did you stay in there, or had they opened up the door for you to get out? They had opened up the door. Okay. They had opened up the door, and they kept it like, telling me, come, come, come on, come on, come on. So there's some deputies or officers that called yeah. you out? Yeah. Okay. And, and they took you outside the whole building? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. Do you know if he's been traveling here recently? Did he talk to you about anywhere that he's been? No. He was just making some, some claims about having traveled and possibly having coronavirus. Was that just him, you think, trying to scare people? I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure. Oh, I heard, I heard him say that uh, he had came from California, but that was it. I Do you think he was just saying that just to say it? Probably. Was he acting sick you, or anything or coughing? Nah, I don't know. No. Nah. I mean, you say you've known him for about five or six months, and at no point did yeah, you know him trying. Like, I know I it's not like, like every day. day. I, I get right. that, but yeah. But you, when you talk to him, he didn't say, "Oh man, I was just out in Cali." Or okay. can he? And I asked for like what happened. Like I still don't know what happened after I. He ended up just giving everybody up, and he ended up uh, being taken into custody. He's at the hospital. He's fine. Okay. He's, he's going to be okay. He's got a lot of stuff to answer for, but beyond that, we didn't do anything to him. So is he manning up to anything? I honestly the whole time. Yep. I don't know what no. he said to anybody or if he said anything. I haven't been out to the hospital yet. No. So, no. Charlie, you swear everything you've told today is the truth? Yeah. Sounds good. Right. All right. Well, I'm trying to see what happened. I know I had, I had like, going down the temple, but that was like for old probation two years ago. Like, you can look it up. Like it's yeah, we're gonna figure that out first before, yeah. we, before we go out of here. Just relax for a few minutes. Um,
come back in. That door's locked for some reason. Okay. Um, we can go through this way. You sit here for a few minutes and we're going to get the other deputy to get you taken care of and get you out of here. Am I being charged with anything? Well, I don't, the day? Like, not in reference to this. Right now, as far as, you know, the, um, the warrants, I don't know. That might be something to happen. What about, what about the marijuana and all that? Like, well, I, I think they're going to, here's, here's the thing, oh, yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think what they're going to do is just send it to the state attorney's office and let them decide later on. So it'll be like, you, you know, they'll call you later, okay? And if that, because they're, they're not going to bring you back down to the jail again. So, tonight, okay? It's not that kind of thing. Um, but let me find out about the warrant, okay? And I'm the, the other deputy was talking to you before. He's going to come back in here, okay? okay? All right, we'll be right back. There it is. Hey, that door locks. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't either. I was like, shit. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know it did that, so it was fun. I was like, oh crap, I think I'm in the door. <laughs> Thank you.